In today's video, we will understand how to write an answer to this kind of a situation. Before that, I have just one request. If you are enjoying watching our videos and it is helping you learn a lot about psychology tests, then please share it with all your friends who are preparing for SSB and in all the SSB related groups that you are a part of. Also, if you want to get your own TAT, VAT, SRT responses analyzed free of cost, then please join the WhatsApp community, link for which has been given in the description. That way we'll be able to keep you updated about when we are scheduling our next one week free psychology course. Accordingly, you can join and take benefit. Now let's understand how you will write an answer to this particular situation. While there are multiple ways you can write an answer to this situation showing the qualities which the board is trying to check, I can suggest a simple way. How about writing an answer like quickly go out locking family inside. Using the word quickly at the very beginning of the answer shows that you will act fast when faced with an emergency or a situation in which there can be risk to life. So that confirms sense of responsibility as well as initiative. Locking family inside shows care for them. Organize young men collecting sickles, axes and clubs. Now here it shows that you have presence of mind and you are able to identify hidden as well as visible resources. It struck you that you can organize young men they are a resource available to you as well as the fact that it came to your mind that there will be things like excess sickle and clubs available in the village again confirms that you do have effective intelligence and can identify hidden as well as visible resources plus the willingness and initiative you have taken to organize the young men shows courage as well confront and overpower decoits again confirms courage get police informed now here guys there is one very important thing you need to understand i have written informed ending with ed which means that he did not inform police himself he kept himself busy with the main action and asked somebody else to do this job so that shows he did not use it as an excuse to run away from the main action. Hand over decoits. Hospitalize anyone injured. So by writing about getting injured hospitalized, you are showing that you already knew right from the beginning that some people will definitely suffer some severe injuries or potentially life-threatening injuries and might require hospitalization later. And even though you are aware of this fact, it did not stop you from getting into action. So that confirms courage. I hope you found this video useful. Tomorrow, I'll be back with yet another video which will help you learn a lot about psychology tests. In the meantime, if you have any other unique response to this situation in mind, please leave it in the comment section. I will certainly reply explaining its analysis. I'll be back tomorrow. Till then, please take very good care of yourself and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.